What's up ghouls? It's Blaze and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my palette collection video. I'm like so sorry about the noise in the background. My dishwasher's going off. Um, it's Okay, there's still like 40 minutes left so <laughs> it's going to be a noisy video. I really apologise but I'm super busy coming up in the next few weeks and I am trying my hardest to film all of my 31 days of Halloween videos so I have less and less time to film my usual videos so today's the only time I can film it. But I'm going to stop talking, get right into it because um, I don't have like loads of palettes but there's quite a few and some of them I would like talk about in more detail so I'm just going to try and rush through it. If you're interested in my makeup and my outfit for this video I have made a IRL to Insta type video inspired by Nisi which I will link the video down below and I will link Nisi's video down below in case you're interested in those. So I'm going to start off with my um, like random palettes where I only have one or two from a certain brand and then the rest will be themed for brands. So these one-off palettes, one-off makes it sound so like amazing, they're just like ones I have from certain brands. So the first one I showed in a favourites video recently, it's the Glitter Obsessed palette from Primark. So we have 28 shades of glitter, um, they are eye creams so they're pretty easy to apply. Um, this was only £4, it's such a cool um, idea for a palette, obviously it's not going to be the best quality because it's Primark makeup, but like I said you can use these and then layer more glitter over the top, so I think this is a really cool idea for a palette, and I really love this, like perfect for festivals, and it's not super heavy, um, So you, and if it, you break it or lose it at a festival it's not the end of the world because like I said it's only £4, so I definitely recommend picking this up for the festival season. Next palette I have is a Colourpop palette, it's the only Colourpop palette I own and it doesn't say on here what it is and I'm pretty sure it's the low key palette. Um, I talked about this in my Colourpop haul which I'll link down below again if you're interested. Um, so it has four shades in it, it has one shimmer shade which is this one on the end and then three matte shades so it has like an orange, well this, what's it called, like a shimmery nude tone thing, um, a matte orange, a matte yellow and a matte red. Um, I'm currently wearing this shade here, the orange shade on my eyes today and I really really like this palette. It's such a good like autumn palette, you could definitely do like a cool, well it would be warm, a <laughs> warm toned eye look. I just really love this. I think this palette was $18 so I think it works out about £14-£15 pounds, so for four shades I'm pretty happy with that. I really like this palette and I would recommend it if it's still available. I don't know if it's limited edition or anything but I'd recommend it. My next palette is one that I use quite a lot. Um, it's the Meat Matte Trimony palette from The Balm. It includes nine shades and these are all very cool toned shades. So my favourite up here is Matte Rossi. I use this all the time as a transition shade and I also love Matte Kumar and Matte Reed. These are just some really good shades. Um, obviously it's quite a basic palette but it is, um, again you could use it for full looks. I am currently wearing Matte Rossi, Matte Lopez and Matte Kumar and I think this is such a really cool I think it's a cool palette. I believe it cost about £39.50, which is kind of expensive for nine shades. I think it's a good it's a good palette. The shadows aren't the most pigmented thing I've ever used, but um, to layer things up and to blend things in with it, I think this is a really good palette. Maybe a little overpriced, but it's cute. Uh, next up is the only Morphe palette that I own, and I, <laughs> I own this by accident. So this is the 35S, and so basically the story behind this is my older sister ordered this palette from Beauty Bay, and when it arrived, this shade here was completely smashed. Obviously there's a tiny little bit of pigment left in the thing, but you know, to receive a palette and have one shade completely smashed is annoying so she complained or sent an email whatever and they sent her out a brand new palette for free and they said just keep the old one don't worry about it so she gave me the old palette um, and she kept the new one so I got this for free and uh, for a free palette it's pretty good um, obviously Morphe eyeshadows aren't super expensive so it's a really good palette oh my god I'm just looking at this orange shade like why have I never used this before I'm in love with that shade but um, I've used this for my rarity look I've used this for um, I want to do like corpse makeup um yeah it's like obviously it's like a range of loads of bright colors it's this wouldn't be my first pick of a morphe palette if i could pick any it wouldn't be this however 
um, I can't complain because it was free and these, you never know when these bright pops of colour are going to come in handy. I also really love this green shade, that's really nice. So yeah, I think I'm going to try and reach for this a little bit more, so if you want to see a tutorial using this palette then let me know down below, but I definitely think I'm going to give it a go. So again, this is another present from my sister, um, her and her husband got me and my sister one of these each for Christmas, like several years ago. And I think, is it Coastal coastal Scents or Coastal, I don't know. I know BH Cosmetics has one like this. Um, so I think there's like 120 eyeshadows in here. So you can lift off, lift off the top uh, tray. And then you have another one at the bottom. And I've dropped this many times. These two are completely smashed. That one's half smashed. Um, I've used up all the black from my emo phase when this was the only black eyeshadow that I owned. Um, so obviously there's a huge range of colours in here. This isn't BH Cosmetics palette, this isn't any particular brand, this is just an off-brand random thing. So I couldn't link it to you below, I wouldn't even know where they got it from. But this is really cool, so like I said, BH Cosmetics has their own version, which um, I've never tried but I've heard good things. Um, so yeah, so if you ever need any colour from the spectrum, they are all in this palette. So this is always good to reach to. Obviously, they're not the most pigmented and the best shadows. Some of them you'll be pleasantly surprised by though, because some of them work pretty well. So this was like my first palette that I ever owned, so this is near to my heart. I have a couple of drugstore palettes. I actually have four or five MUA palettes, but I don't really use the brand anymore. I don't use the palettes, they are just taking up space. So. I'm not going to bother including those in the video. I do have two Makeup Revolution palettes here. Um, again, I don't support the brand, but I don't, I don't not support MUA. MUA is just kind of there, I don't really reach for it anymore. But I don't support Revolution, but I'm just going to show you these two palettes anyway. Um, obviously I would never purchase anything else from them. But yeah, so this is the uh, Redemption palette in Acid Bright. And I bought this for, I was doing, I think it was like a 30 days of makeup challenge on my Instagram a year ago. And I needed this for, I think it was a sunset look, and I think this palette was about £6, so I bought it. Um, I've used it for that, and I used it for one or two more of the challenges, but I've never reached for it again. They're not the most pigmented shadows, but again, you could like layer it up and stuff, but yeah, so I may be getting rid of that one, I'm not sure. But just to show you guys <laughs> my collection. So the next one I bought, purely for the name, I've used it a couple of times, and it's the Mermaids vs Unicorns palette. This isn't as magical as I would like it to be. When I picture mermaids and unicorns, like endless glitter, pinks and purples, and blues and greens, and it's kind of disappointing. It shows up a lot brighter um, on the camera. If I turn the ring light off, you can see that it's not as exciting. But yeah, so that's the palette. Um, again, not the most pigmented, but can be used to layer. And again, that was about six pounds. We're into my more high-end palettes and my favourite brands to buy from, so I'm going to do Urban Decay first. So this is the only Naked palette that I own, and it's the Naked Smoky palette. The packaging is so gorgeous. This was a gift from my housemates I lived with last year for my birthday. They all chipped in and bought me this, because um, whenever we get our student loan, we would go straight to town, look around all the shops, look at all the makeup, pick things we would buy, and then I ended up spending way too much, so I didn't buy the palette but they knew that I wanted it so they picked it up for me anyway. So I'm sure you guys have all seen this palette, it's such a gorgeous palette, I really love it. It's got these nice matte shades on the end here, some nice shimmers. The only problem is it doesn't have a matte black, which if you're going to create a smoky look, I feel like a matte black is key, but um, yeah, as far as the palette goes, I really, really love this. Again, it's sentimental to me because my housemates bought it, but on its own, it's just a really good palette. Also, the brush that it comes with is incredible, I really love this brush. So yeah, that is a really good palette and a good staple to have in your collection. The next palette, I went into town one day on my lunch break, so my lunch break is half an hour, so I did not have much time at all, with the intention of buying an orange eyeshadow. This was before I had my Colourpop palette and before I had my NYX single. Um, I needed an orange eyeshadow because I was supposed to be going out that night. So I went all around town and I ended up finding the Urban Decay Full Spectrum palette. I did not want to spend this much money, but I fell in love with this palette and it was on discount. It was down from 40 something to, I think I got it for like 31.50, which is just incredible for an Urban Decay palette with, with this many shades in. So it includes 21 shades and, oh my goodness, I don't know how I'm gonna show you this without, okay, that's the best I can do. Um, so yeah, all colors of the spectrum and, 
The only issue I have with this palette is there is a mix of um, textures or types of shadows. So the only really matte shades you have, you have maybe one or two matte shades. Then you have a mix of shimmers and satins and stuff like that. Um, obviously the shimmer shades aren't as pigmented as a matte, so that's a bit disappointing. Like this yellow here. Um, I don't even know how you say that. Cal Calavera? Calavara? I don't know how you say that. But it's not as pigmented as I would like it to be. But I am obsessed with this Hassa shade here in the middle. I love it. And I also had to buy it because one of the shades is called Midnight Blaze. So... Um, again, the brush and the palette is amazing, and yeah, I really, really love this palette. I think it's such a good staple to have because you have every colour you could ever need in there. On to my last section or group of palettes, and this is my favourite brand in the world. You probably all know who it is. It's Kat Von D. Um, so I'll go in order of when I got them. So the first one I ever got was this Shade and Light Quad. Um, this is the one, this is Smoke. So it contains four shades, you have um, like a taupe shade, a matte black, matte grey and a matte white, these are all matte. Um, this is like, I can't remember how much this costs, I want to say $17.50, around that kind of mark. And I have got so much use out of this, this is my everyday contour shade, when this runs out, I'm going to cry my eyes out, this is like the best contour shade I've ever used because I'm so pale, it's so good. Obviously the matte black and a matte white are just absolute essentials and I love this grey for a spooky eye. So this really is one of the best palettes I've ever had in my collection and it's so small, it's so good for travelling so I 100% out of all the palettes I recommend this the most. Um, the next one I got was the Metal Matte Palette and the reason I'm filming this video is because I never filmed a review on, um, I don't think I filmed it on any of these palettes, like a lot of people when they receive a new palette or they buy a new palette they'll film a video on it, do a tutorial, do swatches and for some reason I just never did that and I don't know why. So um, I'm just going to show you guys these palettes now, obviously you've all seen these a million times. So this was Kat's limited edition palette from last year. It includes 22 shades, so you have 13 shimmers across the bottom and then, no, 13 mattes across the bottom and then the rest are shimmer shades at the top and some of these shades would correspond, so you could have like Nebula and Velour, Watt and Moss and obviously so on like that and this is one of the best palettes I've ever had in my life, so it was kind of pricey, it was £50 but if you consider how much her single shades are and if you were gonna buy, obviously she doesn't have all of these available in singles, but if you were gonna buy this many singles, it would cost way more than 50 pounds. Um, just the packaging on this palette is gorgeous. So if you hold it one way, it says, I can't see because it's like flipped around in the camera. Basically, this says matte, this says metal. It's very cleverly done. It's a good palette. So yeah, I love this palette. I reach for it all the time and I would say my favourite shades from this palette are Moss, I am just a sucker for a green and I also really love Glitz and Tinsel mixed together for inner corner highlights and Velvet, like can we just appreciate Velvet right here on the end, what an incredible colour. So yeah, this is one of my favourite palettes in my collection. The next one I got after that, I did film a video on, and this is the Kat Von D and Too Faced collab. This is the Better Together palette. So like I said, you've already seen this on my channel, but for those who haven't watched it, one, I'll link it down below if you want to check it out, but I will just quickly show you. So we have six shades here from Too Faced. Honestly, I'm not keen on this side. I think Friendspiration and Heart of Gold are really pretty colours, but because they're shimmers, they're not the most pigmented, and I don't really reach for these colours. I did try it, but I'm not really that keen on them. The Kat Von D side, however, holy shit, I am obsessed with this. So you get a matte white and a matte black, which I have in pretty much all of my Kat Von D palettes, but they're essentials, you need them all the time, so basically, if you buy a Kat Von D palette, you, you're never going to run out. If you just have stacks and stacks of these palettes, you'll never run out of a black and white. Um, the whole, the sole reason I bought this palette was because of this shade here, Swoon. It's like a slightly shimmery or metallic -y red. It's fucking gorgeous. And then we have these two shimmers here, Darling and Lovestruck. Okay, so I'm really sorry, but my camera battery died and then I didn't have time to charge it because I had to go out and get loads of stuff for more videos that are coming soon. Um, so I don't remember <laughs> where I left off. I know I was talking about the Better Together palette, but I'm pretty sure I got across everything I wanted to say. So we're just gonna move on to the last palette of the video, which is my favorite 
palette in my collection, I'm pretty sure. I'm 95% sure this is my favourite palette. So it is the Alchemist palette by Kat Von D, of course. You can see the packaging, it's gorgeous. I'm pretty sure I've showed this on my channel before, but for those of you who haven't seen it, which I don't know how you wouldn't have seen it, it's amazing. It is four shades that are duochrome. Um, so you've got green emerald, blue sapphire, ultraviolet amethyst, and pink opal. Um, I'll swatch them quick because there's only a few. Oh, thank you, pumpkin, for making loads of noise. Yeah, I don't have anything like this in my collection. There's the shade there. Um, and obviously they're cool on their own, they're really cool highlights, but to lay them over black eyeshadow is so freaking pretty. So yeah, I'm pretty sure this palette was around 20 something pounds. I'm pretty sure. I want to say 25, maybe a bit less, I can't exactly remember, but it's so good. So if you have the chance to pick one up, I would definitely recommend it. It's so good to play around with when you're experimenting with makeup and stuff like that. So it's definitely a good palette to pick up. So that is all the palettes that I have um, to date. There's definitely a lot more that I'm looking into buying. I just need to wait till I have some more money. Um, the next couple of palettes that I definitely want to pick up are the Urban Decay Heat Palette. I'm seeing that everywhere. It's been out for a while now and I just think the colours are just something I would use all the time. So I'm definitely looking into getting that. Kat Von D's new release, the limited edition release, the Saint and Sinner Palette. Oh my god, it looks so gorgeous. I wasn't sure about the colours at first, but after seeing the swatch video that was posted on the Kat Von D Beauty YouTube channel... I need the palette. They're so good with their marketing because literally every product they bring out, I'm like, I need it or I'm gonna die. <laughs> um, so they're like the next two palettes that I definitely wanna buy and try out. So when I do so, they will be featured on this channel. So look out for those. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what your favorite palette was that I showed in this video and tell me what your favorite palette is that you use. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching it and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.